way worse because uh, Mitchell's MySpace what they do what did they do with the MySpace they replaced a profile picture with a zombie version of the kid 4chan even prank called Mitchell's parents and the most messed up one is that a 4chan user went to Mitchell's grave <laughs> photo of it with an ipod on top of the tombstone Fortune. what's up guys it is your boy big ryan 16 back right now video to drop hope you guys are having a good day night afternoon whenever you guys are watching this video and today we're gonna the two 4chan pranks that went to fire by morbid for fun another day another morbid for fun banger this time is gonna be on 4chan now i have never been on 4chan before however i always see those documentary videos on 4chan wherever it's extreme stuff like this so i'm not gonna lie when i say i'm probably gonna know at least like a few of these but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please the bell on is gonna if i went out upload a new video comment what do you guys want me to add to next and um yeah let's get into the video Chan has a very bad reputation. They also have a reputation of doing diabolical pranks and trolls. Yep. <laughs> some of these. Yeah, this is actually one of them. When I heard about the Donald Trump one, I'm like, the iceberg. There are some pranks that are flat out criminal and. Dirty. How do you even think about that? In today's video, we talk like about how do you think about like that type of idea? Like I. Welcome back to another video. Before this video starts, I do want to credit Dantavius because I did watch his iceberg video, which inspired me to make this video, but do not worry because of course, I am not going to talk about all the things he talked about because I did remove some things and added some stuff my own. So shout out to him and of course, follow me on all my social medias, but let's just get straight into this video because you click this video for the topics, not me. I was I click on the video just for you now? I'm saying now. Nah, actually, nah. I like you. I like you more. I like you too. Internet. It typically involves participants engaging in specific activities or tasks online to compete for prizes or recognition. Some examples of this is naming the next Mountain Dew flavor or even voting which location a musical artist should perform next. The first fortune hijack that I want to talk right, about so he's is definitely... called Dub the Do. Dub the Do was an online competition. All right, so he's going to talk about this, and I'm get, I'm guessing he's going to mention the type, the, the Taylor Swift one, because whenever people talk about fortune and places, Taylor Swift is definitely one. I'm not going to check the timestamp, but meaning that there's no restrictions when it comes to naming the brand you drink. Because of this internet contest, this obviously caught 4chan's attention. And unfortunately, the contest was disrupted by 4chan users did, who flooded the polls with how did they troll? and hacked the website's front page. Now, let me read you guys the top 10 most voted names. Oh, no. We have Gushing Green Granny, Fabulous Apple, Gushing Granny, Gushing Grannies, Granny Squirt, Gushing Granny, Diabetes, and gushing granny but want to know what's the number one most voted name for this competition well it's no other than adolf did nothing wrong clearly i cannot say his last name because i will get demonetized no but okay these can be like way fucked up these can honestly be like way more messed up but like why does a lot of these have something to do with brainies or them getting gushered like but we know who I'm talking about. Since yeah, we get the first. We name, get the first. That means Mountain Dew had to give that name to the new flavored drink. Well, not actually. Because she followed through it? Hijacked the site, Mountain Dew shut down the contest. Oh, I'm about to say, me, okay. Gushing Grannies should have won. Speaking of yeah, the polls, I mean, that's like, that's not like way too messed up. Pitbull got exiled by 4chan. Walmart organized a promotional stunt in collaboration with She's Brand Energy Strips to bring the rapper Pitbull to whichever local Walmart store that gains the most Facebook likes between June 20th and July. Oh, how did they, how did they hack this one or troll? Reddit and 4chan took note of this and decided to send Pitbull to Kodiak, Alaska, which is the most remote Walmart in America. The Kodiak, Alaska Walmart locations Facebook post got over 70,000 likes likes despite its population only being 13,592. Of course, this ended up winning the competition. Pitbull knew that this was a prank and despite him knowing that this is just a big troll by 4chan, he kept his word and actually went to Kodiak, Alaska to perform and even visited the Walmart, which is very wholesome. 
another infamous okay, okay I'll, I'll le in 2010. Justin at least he kept his work celebrity of all time during that oh no year, justin bieber announces uh, highly anticipated world how did just how does just bieber in this poll to pick which country gets added to justin's tour list when 4chan got attention to this they thought of ideas on how to sabotage the polls considering they're gonna send him to like the most like fucked up poll, country aren't they users use bots and submitted north korea as an option yep no north, north korea yep north korea won the competition when yep I, I as soon as i heard that i'm like yep okay is it gonna be north three or something because like mo most of the time whenever 4chan like trolls and then there's like a competition like this and then they say all right let's where should we send them most of the time whenever i hear these stories most of the time it has something to do with north korea and that's because like north korea is like a lot of structure and but you could easily like die there so I, I wouldn't be shocked if not gonna hold you if some of these or some of these i don't know of they have something to do with north korea just because when justin's team saw the results they quickly deleted the whole website they also had justin's lawyer come out and say that this online poll was not legally bound so they just canceled the whole online competition because of 4chan i mean i feel i feel bad for the people who really wanted someone else to win but like just taylor swift oh yep he talks about this one collaboration between papa this was the one i was talking about a textbook rental company, aka the website you use to cheat on your homework. For sure one of the most weirdest crossovers of all time. No idea why. The collaboration was part of a marketing campaign to promote Taylor Swift's new album, Red, and to offer exclusive content to fans. Students who rented textbooks from Chegg were given access to a special pre-release of Taylor Swift's album, along with bonus content. They also received a discount on Papa John's pizza, pizza mm -hmm. and one lucky school will receive a VIP concert from Taylor. Weirdly and enough, this is where 4chan came in. Petition ...thought it was an amazing idea to let anyone submit any school they want. When 4chan caught wind of this, they decided on what school they can possibly troll Taylor. After all, it's not like 4chan Chen can send Taylor Swift to North Korea because one of the rules were that the school had to be in the US. After a while of deciding what school they should send Taylor Swift to, 4chan landed on the Horseman School in Boston, Massachusetts. Once they decided on Horseman School, they quickly submitted the school to the polls and used bots so the school could win first place. This was a huge problem for Taylor Swift. And want to know why 4chan wanted to bring Taylor Swift to the Horseman School in Massachusetts? Well, that's you know, I'm not even, I'm not even. school for the deaf because of yeah because there's a lot of down due to taylor swift's marketing team panicking on a brighter note taylor and her sponsors decided to donate fifty thousand dollars to the horseman school like at least they did this even though they had to shut down the competition not gonna lie like yeah i would feel bad for the kids but it's like was a happy ending for this what the fuck what the hell are they gonna do just watch her dance talking about in this video also keep in mind mountain dew didn't keep their word Justin Bieber didn't keep his word. Taylor Swift didn't keep her word. Yeah. Want to know who kept his word? No other than Pitbull, and that's why he's the goat. I mean, shout out to Taylor Swift for donating fifty thousand dollars. I mean, at least Taylor Swift had donated something. At least she donated Bay some stuff. Listing. Beyblade is a line of spinning top toys originally developed Bro. by Kara, first released in Japan. Do y'all remember when Beyblade was like very popular? Like, I don't know if it's still popular now. I know like they're, they're in like a new generation, Beyblade X. But I was like, whenever when I was in like elementary school and then someone middle school and it was blade blade metal like the metal saga bro it was so popular like i don't know if it if uh, blade, blade blade burst was popular with um like um people with people now before blade blade x but when i was in school everyone had at least some type of blade blade from the blade blade metal saga because it was just that popular and in july 1999 along with its debut series back in february of 2011 ebay seller danae 21 would post an ebay listing called selling a beyblades to replace destroyed bathtub followed up with the images of her two kids the press oh yeah that they were oh it's this the description reads that some we are selling because somehow two dumb dumbass kids destroyed their tub with their blade blades bathtub as a battle arena in beyblades okay yep equals i remember this one i remember this one they managed to scrape the enamel off the tub and take a chunk of tub out and break off the soap holder so if you win this auction don't play with it in a bathtub we have received a quote of 500 dollars to replace the bathtub some tiles the soap holder and labor 
they had approximately $125.67 in their piggy banks that will be going towards the cost. We will use Yeah, not gonna lie, dub mom, dub mom. Balance, and then it is on to the but me and my brother play with Blade Blades, but not gonna hold you when we say we never thought about it like playing in in the tub. Not gonna lie. Like get its first viral post after somebody shared it with Reddit by claiming that this was a saddest eBay auction. That is people eBay. in the comments expressed anger by saying that publicly humiliating your child isn't okay, while some thought the idea of this was funny. After this Reddit post- I mean, they should have thought, thought about it playing it with in the tub. Go easy on the troll by putting up fake bids. There was a bidding war with the final bid being $1 million. I don't encourage fake bids on eBay, but I'll admit, for this being a 4chan prank- I question how- how- why did it go up that far? Like, if it, it was not that high before. A few bad apples. After the fake bids, some 4chaners would send nasty emails and harass the mom on eBay, which at that point, the joke has crossed the line. Sadly, it doesn't end there. 4chan would then make edits of the kids on the listing. Ooh, yeah. Messed up, considering the troll was originally supposed to be towards the May mom. They have to censor you, he's not gonna lie. Just, dear kids. God. 4chan are now the ones humiliating the kid. And would you even believe me if I told you guys that this gets even worse well no because 4chan docks the family if you ask me doxing is way worse yeah to i question how they even got the location but i'm like i feel bad family, like which it was just the mom trying to teach the kids the less a lesson reports of but then or anything along those lines but it is still scary like just imagine getting doxxed randomly because you're trying to teach your kids a lesson and then you got to deal with this shit. Like I would feel so bad. I found this one out while watching one of Moist Critical's videos. JFK Jr. was an American attorney, journalist, and magazine publisher. He was the son of John F. Kennedy, the 35th president of the United States. John F. Kennedy Jr. lost his life on July 16, 1999. He died when the light aircraft he was flying crashed into the Atlantic Ocean off Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Kennedy's wife and sister-in-law were also on board and and died. Before we get into the 4chan prank, I do have to give you guys some background information. QAnon is a far-right conspiracy theory that emerged on internet forums in 2017 that alleges a secret war between Donald Trump going against cannibal p-words that are very powerful that run the world. I'm not gonna uh, go too deep into this or else I uh, would get flagged, but this is one of the most far-fetched conspiracy uh, theories. I, I gotta research. I gotta research after, after this. Every time I watch a murder video, whenever I hear something interesting or something like crazy, I gotta do my own research. I'm like, they thought it would have been funny if they targeted I never heard of this before. So 4chan claimed that on November 2nd, 2021, Donald Trump will be reinstated as president and that JFK Jr. will resurrect from the dead to become Donald Trump's vice president. This conspiracy theory group believes that JFK Jr. never passed away, but instead he was in hiding for the past 22 years. Because of this rumor that was started by 4chan, hundreds of QAnon believers camped out on the same road where JFK was shot in Dallas, Texas because they believed that JFK Jr. and Donald Trump would drive down that same road to announce the reinstatement of Donald Trump. These like, people like respectfully, camped do, out on that do you guys actually believe this? Entire month waiting like, on a dead man to resurrect from the dead. Like, I really think a dead man is gonna re-erect because a new president is gonna like. Doing my own research, it was for sure a few hundred people camped out, and they camped out for a good while. I don't know exactly how long. As much as I love conspiracy theories. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what I just read. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't believe this theory at all. It's actually one of the most far-fetched conspiracy theories, which that's what I love about conspiracy theories, man. They could just be as far-fetched and you just feel silly after uh, reading the Yeah, after reading it, it just challenge. In June of 2015, 4chan made a fake advertisement for the worldwide oh, no. non-governmental organization. Oh my god, what works in the field of wilderness preservation. The fake advertisement says 100,000 animals die from plastic bag asphyxiation annually this needs to stop don't let the world die because of our mistakes for every minute you keep a plastic bag tied the, over oh your no the users on 4chan troll and buy a bunch of bags and it just dumped in an ocean the crazy suggestion has subsequently caught on with hundreds of tweets with the hashtag being posted each hour. In an attempt to dupe users, the original 4chan post reads, This might have potential. Go on Twitter and Facebook, start posting about the plastic bag challenge, holding a bag over your head and breathing as long and hard as you can. No! Out. While doing research for this 4chan challenge, I did search up the hashtags on YouTube and Twitter, and luckily no videos of people doing the plastic bag challenge has popped up. Oh my- So there is a good chance- I was about- 
about to say. I was about to say. This challenge, I did find the mirror site, which shows a photo of a kid in a plastic bag, and they credited the photo to a now deleted YouTube video. So maybe a few people did fall for this after all, but I cannot confirm. Clearly, of course a kid falls for it. Of course a kid falls for it. Like I was thinking, okay, so no, no one actually did it. There's no videos of it, but no, some kid actually did fall for it. Honestly, since this was like 2015, I feel like there was that. There's probably like a few YouTube or Vine or uh, musical musical music i'm not this i'm not saying musical musically video musically videos that where like kids are actually doing it and he just can't find it but like dear just dear dear god ha, ha, ha. Uh, of course it really don't do this because obviously it's not a real challenge and plus internet challenges are so dumb and just never participate in them and plus doing the plastic bag like some internet challenges are actually pretty fun but not gonna hold you when i say most of them are pretty like fucking retarded starbucks is racist prank Starbucks is a very popular coffee chain. Oh, we already know it's Starbucks. 2017 on Twitter. We already know it's Starbucks. Suggesting that Starbucks would declare August 11 as Dreamer Day, offering undocumented immigrants 40% off any item from its menu. This rumor, which has been debunked, gained momentum alongside the hashtag Border Free Coffee, where some users commended Starbucks for what they believe to be in support for vulnerable immigrant communities. Nevertheless, both Dreamer Day and hashtag Border Free Coffee are fake campaigns that are made by 4chan. The alleged oh, I got this hoax appears to be enticing undocumented immigrants into public spaces, potentially leading to their apprehension by immigration and customs enforcement officials. Because of oh, this, man. Starbucks had to release a statement saying that this is false and to please stop spreading misinformation. Uh, uh, okay, at least. Later in May of 2018, two black men were arrested at a Philadelphia Starbucks after a store manager called the police because they were sitting in the store without placing an order. Witnesses stated that the two men were refused access to the bathroom because they had not made a purchase despite another customer being allowed to use the bathroom without buying anything additionally one witness mentioned that she had been at the store for hours without making a purchase the two men stated that they were waiting for a friend who arrived just as they were taken away in handcuffs because of this act of racism fortune thought of a clever way oh okay to yeah to make a fake starbucks advertisement claiming that the company will give black people free unlimited coffee as a reparation for slavery once these ads were made they were quickly spread all over twitter youtuber oh one of these fake starbucks ads so he wanted to test out if he can actually get free coffee from these fake advertisements. oh no get my free coffee how you doing good how are you all right i heard y'all was racist so i came to get my um free coffee um. Yeah, I heard you guys don't like black people, so I wanted to get my Starbucks reparations voucher. What's that? Is that a real thing? It's a real thing. I mean, I'll give it to you. I, yeah, I saw that on my Twitter last night. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I need, I need a free coffee. Oh, she's actually, they're actually gonna That's do it. That's what I'm talking about. This is justice. Okay, then, never mind. They actually believe it. All right. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. If they believe it, maybe they got fired. Did, did, did she get fired after this? Okay, I gotta search up this YouTuber and then see if there's like an update. Like, cause he got free coffee, and then like the owner of that particular Starbucks found out. You're amazing. Did she get fired? Uh huh. I wish you the best. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get your free coffee out here, man. You gotta get your Starbucks reparations, man. Huh? Yeah, this is how we do, man. Black Lives Matter, baby. Black Lives Matter. It worked in his favor, and dude, that clip is so funny to me. Dude, it's funny. This video clip obviously went viral, and Fox News even interviewed him, asking why did he do it and what was his motivation, which he then states, I am sick and tired of liberals using black people and making us look like victims making us look soft with their liberal dogma it is disgusting the other thing i hate about liberals is if you're a black man as i am in america they will not hand you a microphone unless you follow the liberal narrative and i said you know what i bet if i go into starbucks and I follow a liberal narrative. I'm I mean, and voila, here I am. 
for the record i'm pretty sure he is not a 4chan user but instead a random guy who saw these fake advertisements on twitter so he decided to take i mean dub promotion for his channel and a that clip was he lying funny, dude i don't like, 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 was he lying? What was he lying? Oh, he, like, he got the coffee, but like. I guarantee you that 4chan had a field day with his video. Trolling Apple users. Throughout the years, 4chan has oh, no. a lot of fake Apple advertisements spreading misinformation. Yeah, uh, okay. How did they troll Apple? I feel like they also tro uh, trolled Samsung before, too. Many people actually fell for these despite how dumb these fake ads were. In 2013, the new iPhone 5S came out with many new cool features. But one feature that wasn't included was the phone being waterproof. During the release of the new iPhone, a random user on the B board on 4chan made a few fake advertisements promoting a waterproof feature to trick Apple users to dip their iPhones into water. However, they didn't just make fake advertisements because multiple 4chan users would make fake social media accounts giving reviews about the iPhone and stated that they were impressed with the brand new waterproof feature. I don't exactly know how many people fell for this fake advertisement. I would not be shocked of millions. I remember it. hearing about this hoax and that many people actually fell for it. In the following iOS update, iOS 8, there was another iPhone hoax claiming that you can microwave your phone for a fast yeah, charge. Like First thing, whenever I see like an iPhone update, I immediately check the, the Twitter first because I'm like, yeah, because it's, e it's easy to Photoshop an iPhone like um update. Proof advertisement, but come on, how can someone even fall for microwaving their iPhone? That just sounds ridiculous. And I bet nobody actually fell for this, right? I feel like a few kids did. Yep. A lot of idiots actually fell for. Yep. These weren't the only fall iPhone advertisements. I feel like whenever it comes to trolling or trolling pranks, I feel like, m like, okay, 80% of the time, it's gonna be, ki it's gonna be some dumb fucking kid who sees it, and then they do it, and then they just destroy something. Like, 80% of the time, it's gonna be kids, the other 20, it's, it's, it's like an actual adult. Like, it, it's, a, like, it's very shocking, but it's like, yeah. Like, whenever I see, like, an update like this, I immediately go check, like, um, the, I, the, um, Apple Twitter or the Instagram, because they'll usually, like, you know, post something about this instead of just seeing it randomly on some site that I like to use and then I, I'm believing it immediately. Like, I just, I immediately check, like, the official, like, you know, their official, like, social media because when the iPhone 7 removed the headphone jack, 4chan made fake advertisements saying that it's actually still there, but you just had to drill a hole in it. Another fake advertisement that was made by 4chan Don't tell me was someone believe this the too. new iPhone was bend proof, so no matter how hard you bend your phone, it Bro, that looks break. so... I don't think anyone... That looks so photoshopped, not gonna lie. Advertisements, but considering that people actually fell for the microwave one, I wouldn't be surprised... I would not be shocked. I well. would not be shocked in any way. ...leaked photos. On August 31st, 2014, a significant... Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not pause. Phone, oh, no. What got leaked? What picture got leaked? What dick pic got leaked? What dick pic got leaked? ...shared shared on the image board 4chan and then rapidly spread across other platforms such as Imager and Reddit. The public gave the name to this event, the Fappening or Celebgate. Initially, it was suspected that the photos were obtained through a security breach in Apple's iCloud service or a vulnerability in its API, allowing unauthorized access to users' accounts. However, Apple later stated that the access was gained through spear phishing attacks targeting user names, passwords, and security questions. The leak received mixed reactions from the media and celebrities. While some criticized it as a significant invasion of privacy, others questioned the authenticity of the images. The incident also raised concerns about the privacy and security of cloud computing services like iCloud, particularly regarding the storage of sensitive information. The leaked photos were obtained from the online storage provided by Apple's iCloud used for backing up photos from iOS devices like iPhone. The hacker, describing themselves as a collector, distributed the hack on forums such as 4chan and Anon IB in exchange for Bitcoin, leading to widespread circulation online. Reddit played a significant role in sharing these images with a subreddit called r slash the fappening, gaining over 100,000 followers in a single day. Reddit administrators faced criticism for allowing this activity, leading to the banning of the subreddit due to copyright concerns and the overwhelming workload of moderation. Another subreddit named Fappening was also banned on the same day. It's kind of sad knowing that 100,000 users were that down bad and joined in a single day.
threats. Yeah, how many I'm niggas are like that down back? Because it's serious. There have been way too many threats on 4chan that it's impossible to mention all of them in one video. There have sadly been some instances where some people do follow up with their threats, but I won't be giving those individuals any attention for this video. But to give you guys okay, that's example, fair. That's fair. That's fair. Don't give him attention. That's are, that's fair. In 2013 in the Netherlands, an anonymous 4chan yo photo claiming that he wants to off his teacher and fellow students because of this threat. 20 different schools were closed down in the Netherlands, and luckily the anonymous 4chan user was arrested. Thank the Lord. Fake Thank crystals. In 2009, oh. a seemingly harmless post on 4chan posted instructions on how to make beautiful, colorful. Why crystals. did I think that was a, that was like a, a body organ for a second? I was I dead ass thought that was a body organ for a second. It just looked bloody. Never mind. Ignore me. Ignore me. I thought that was a. Thought that you're not only just making crystals, but instead you're making chloramine gas. If you breathe in this gas, it can cause violent coughing, chest pain, lung fluid buildup. Oh, okay. So she's making death okay i won't be telling you the ingredients on how to make <sighs> toxic crystals but i do want to read the last step on making the crystals basically you have to blow onto the pennies while you stir it in a specific liquid during this process blowing with your own breath the chemical will have a chemical reaction causing actual crystals to form the 4chan post states that you need to blow until you're dizzy because it actually increases the co2 in your breath which will lead to more colorful crystals the purpose behind the last step is to trick the person who kill you crystals to get as close to the chemical reaction as possible causing them to inhale the toxic fumes faster which can lead to a fatality now there are no confirmed deaths circulating the crystal honestly damage, but there is a reddit post i would be not shocked at from it Remember, this is Reddit, so take it with a grain of salt. I mean, take it with a grain of salt, but I'm gonna be very honest when I say I would not be shocked. Legal advice: My son accidentally killed himself because of 4chan. About one month ago, my 11-year-old son accidentally died when he followed instructions he saw online on a website called 4chan. Someone had posted detailed instructions on how to make what he believed to be crystals, but turned out to be poison. Is there any legal action I can take against the person who ruined my life and devastated my family? A friend recommended I ask around before paying for a lawyer. Any help would be appreciated. Sorry, I forgot to put where this happened as I'm new here. This incident occurred in Maryland. Once again, this is Reddit, so we can't... Uh, 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 our uh, uh, rip to the parent, for for real. real like, that's very messed. That's very fucked up, and it's sad they, they really can't do... This one's really they can't do nothing up. about it. April 20th, 2006, a seventh grader by the name Mitchell Henderson offed himself for unknown reasons. Because of this, a family member posted a memorial onto MySpace that reads, He was such an hero to take it all away. We miss him so that you should know, and we honor him in this day. He oh God, what the fortune? Dude. <laughs> what what did they do with this one? We wish we could take it back, and now he's on our minds. Mitchell was an hero. Somehow, Fortune found this MySpace memorial and for whatever reason they thought that the typo and hero was hilarious to them 4chan even found mitchell's myspace account and while snooping they found a mention of a lost ipod because of this 4chan assumed and made fun of the possible fact that mitchell could have offed himself because of a lost ipod 4chan being 4chan made so many memes mocking the kid which is sad and now the term and hero refers to somebody offing themselves the jokes have already crossed the line but trust me it gets it's way worse because uh, Mitchell's MySpace account what they do what did they do with the MySpace and they replaced a profile picture with a zombie version of the kid 4chan even prank called Mitchell's parents and the most messed up one is that a 4chan user went to Mitchell's grave yeah. a photo of it with an iPod on top of the tombstone 4chan can really take a joke too far Thank you guys for watching. This what video. was the point of that? Thank you for all the tremendous support from my two recent videos. They have been doing extremely well. And of course, I did look at the criticism, which I will be working on for future videos. I'll just keep on improving from there on forward. And big credit to Dan Tavius because I did fall into a big 4chan rabbit hole. And I did watch his video, which is why uh, uh, me to make uh, this. Uh, oh, God. Of course, watch his video after That's... this one. Oh, so God, bro. Stuff that I did not cover because I didn't just want to copy paste his video because I, I watched the video after i edit this reaction I i'll to just you guys watch his video instead thank you for all the support and i'll see you guys in my next video see you guys later
There's that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just, uh, just, uh, oh god, bro. Like some of these I already knew of, like, like, like the the Jester Bieber one, and then the Taylor Swift one, and then the one with JFK. But the rest of these, I'm just like, uh, oh god. And then that last one. Hold up, I gotta relook because. I'm sorry, what was the point of, like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm sorry, but what is the point, what is the point of doing this? Like, what is this gonna achieve? Like, I really wanna know. Like, wh why bring a, a iPod to their, I, I, I question some of these. I know, like, the point of it is to get, uh, like, a reaction to, to it because, like, oh, they're gonna find it funny. Honestly, rip to all, all the parents in this, honestly. Like, the one who lost a son to crystals, the one who lost their son because of suicide, and then the other one that, the other ones that were just losing their sons because of some other stupid shit, like the plastic bag balance, just rip to all of them, honestly. Common morbid banger, common morbid for fun banger, not gonna lie, common morbid for fun banger. There, so that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please grab the bell on this again. If I win, I upload a new video. Comment, what do you guys want to react to next? So anyways, that was the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hope